So Alex Lull, who writes this newsletter called The Steel Club, he had sent his newsletter yesterday. He talked about he had recently launched a product and he sent an email to people after the, the promotion had ended. So he sent one to people who had clicked the links and checked out the product but didn't buy. And essentially, he surveyed them to find out like why they didn't buy. And he explained that there were most of, the, most of the answers fell into sort of three categories. They either said the price was too high. They said they didn't think it was, it wouldn't be useful to beginners. And I forget what the third one was, but so he wrote in this sort of what he learned from it. And he was saying that it made him think, okay, well, I didn't do a good, I should have done a better job communicating the value. I should have done a better job communicating that it's good for beginners too. And I forget what the third thing was. But my take on it was, and this is what I posted on social, I was, first of all, I think it's a great tactic to survey people that didn't buy and you'll learn a lot. Yeah. And I think everything he said is probably right to a certain degree, but I thought he missed what is the most likely case, which is he had attracted the wrong people in the first place. And to me, and this goes to your point about the, the list, which is what made me think about it, that if you have a lot of people saying that your $99, that the reason they didn't buy your $99 product is that the price is too high you probably attracted the wrong people in the first place. And it's not your copywriting. And is I mean, look, it can be multiple things, right? More yeah. than one thing can be true. But, but to me, that was something that he didn't really consider where I was like, I think the, I don't want to call it a failure because I know he sold a bunch and I think it was fine. But the real reason all these people weren't buying is they were the wrong people up front. 